The film opens in Bristol, Britain, on Christmas Eve. The genuine Saint Nick Claus is in a bar drinking the night away before he returns to conveying presents. He addresses a close by shopping center Street Nick who is glad to take care of his business, however Old Street Scratch has become tainted and frustrated with the occasion as individuals just consideration for gifts and are turning out to be to an ever-increasing extent shrewd. Not long prior to leaving, Saint Nick leaves a present for the barkeep's grandson who is confounded with respect to how he is familiar with him. She follows him to the house stop to scold him, believing he's simply one more alcoholic, just to gaze toward the sky and see Saint Nick riding endlessly in his sled, pulled by his reindeer. Similarly as the barkeep respects the way that Saint Nick is genuine, he barks over the side of the sled, which lands all over. In Connecticut, Jason Lightstone is meeting his alienated spouse Linda and their girl Trudy. While the two guardians attempt to make the occasion decent for Trudy, they are having a really difficult time. The three head to Jason's family chateau, as the Lightstones are unimaginably affluent. His mom, Gertrude, is a grading chief of her organization, while Jason's sister Alba is frantic for their mom to see her since she thinks Jason is Gertrude's number one kid. She is joined by her idiotic entertainer, Bo Morgan Steele, and her unsavory high school child Bert. Saint Nick goes through Christmas with outrageous contempt, dropping off stuff like cash and stockings and other pointless contraptions and doohickeys. He eats the treats and milk left out for him yet additionally grabs other people group's liquor. At the point when he gets to the Lightstone house he utilizes their back rub seat. Jason and Linda choose to allow Trudy to open one gift early, a couple of walkie-talkies. At the point when they leave her room, they hear her talking on maybe she were conversing with Saint Nick, saying that her one wish for Christmas is that her folks reunite. Jason and Linda have looks of disappointment on their countenances. A group of hired fighters acting like staff starts their arrangement when one of the mercs, Gingerbread, takes out the head of safety. The pioneer, Scrog, kills the man at the front door prior to going into the Lightstone house and gathering together his other mercs to keep the family prisoner. As per Penny Pincher, Gertrude had stored $300 million that was intended to be conveyed to the center east, and the cash is in a vault someplace in the house. Saint Nick hears the gunfire and endeavors to leave, however he is found by a hooligan called Sparkle. He endeavors to pound Saint Nick, however he rises and retaliates. The gunfire from Sparkle's weapon makes the reindeer get frightened and take off, leaving Saint Nick abandoned. In the following battle, Saint Nick and Glitter drop through a window, yet while Santa Claus is okay, Sparkle is speared on an icicle. Since he needs more Christmas sorcery to get him out of there, Saint Nick goes to the front end entryway and tracks down the administrator dead. Trudy then, at that point, talks on the walkie-talkie as Saint Nick got the other one trying to call for help. At the point when she requests his assistance, Saint Nick chooses to keep close by. Another merc, Cold, runs over Saint Nick when he returns into the house. House. They participate in a more fierce battle, with Cold endeavoring to wound Saint Nick, yet Saint Nick can utilize his enchanted pack of gifts to shield himself, however he can't mysteriously take out a valuable weapon. Saint Nick gets the star from the Christmas tree and sticks it into Cold's eye then, at that point, connects it to an outlet so the star shocks Chili and sets his head ablaze. At the point when Tightwad attempts to check in with his mercs, Saint Nick answers Chili's walkie and illuminates Penny Pincher that Cold is dead, and most of them will be soon too. Tightwad sends his folks to look for Saint Nick while likewise provoking the Lightstones. He has his henchwoman candy stick torment Jason by breaking one of his fingers utilizing a nutcracker, and afterward endeavors to involve a greater nutcracker for its more strict reason. Before they can hurt Jason further, Trudy steps in to holler at the lowlifes, guaranteeing teeing Saint Nick is there to help them, until Jason tells her there's no such thing as Saint Nick and that guardians put Christmas presents under trees and express there from him. Trudy takes off crying and conceals in the loft while the hooligans pursue her. She converses with Saint Nick again on the walkie-talkie and he demonstrates he's the genuine article by relating the different gifts she had requested throughout the long term, re-establishing her confidence in the man. At the point when she specifies the miscreants, Saint Nick takes a gander at his underhanded rundown and sees every one of their names on there while reaffirming to Trudy that she has forever been on the pleasant rundown. Miser keeps on playing with the family by having the grown-ups give Gertrude her gifts. Morgan presents a strategic plan to help his profession, which Gertrude clearly has zero interest in, while Alva gives her an outlined image of the day she was conceived, which Gertrude likewise shows little consideration for. They then, at that point, get Jason's gift, which is a container of bourbon and a note that he doesn't believe Gertrude should see. She peruses it however at that point gets out whatever is on it, it can remain among them. Saint Nick finds treat stick and endeavors to take her out, just for a toy Saint Nick to enact and ruin his disguise. She cautions Tightwad, who goes with Gingerbread to find Saint Nick, who is under the loft. The bad guys take him out and tie him up, requesting to know who he truly is. Saint Nick then, at that point, drops the miscreant's genuine names. Penny Pincher is Jimmy, Gingerbread is Bjorn, Candy Stick is Kyra, and the things they requested when they were kids. Miser uncovers his scorn for Christmas since his family couldn't stand to celebrate it when his dad got laid off, and he endeavored to take presents from a neighbor's home and wound up terrified 
horrifying their granddad, making the man tumble down the steps and break his neck. From the storage room, Trudy makes a redirection by utilizing styrofoam through the vents to make counterfeit snow, momentarily making the bad guys have faith in Saint Nick and allowing him an opportunity to go through his wizardry to shoot himself the fireplace to get away. Morgan endeavors to escape by leaping through the window. This happens similarly as Gertrude's extraction group shows up to safeguard the family. Sadly, Morgan learns they're working with Tightwad after the pioneer, Commandant Thorpe, orders his men to execute him. Penny Pincher converses with Thorpe and cautions him about Saint Nick and Santa Claus then sees all the more troublemakers' names spring up on the insidious rundown, meaning he has more work to do. While Saint Nick is plotting his best course of action, he converses with Trudy about who he used to be. Hundreds of years sooner, he was a horrible Viking fighter called Nick among the Red and he utilized his strong mallet skull crusher to crush his foes. While he has since attempted to leave his lethal impulses, Trudy urges him to effectively utilize those abilities. Similarly, similarly as the extraction group storms the house, Saint Nick tracks down a close-by demo hammer in the cellar and starts to pummel the hooligans and furthermore utilizes a hon treat stick as a shiv against the reprobates. Trudy sets up home alone, rouse traps under the storage room similarly as Gingerbread and Candy Stick pursue her. Gingerbread ventures through a messed up stepping stool rung, making his jaw be pierced on a nail. Candy Stick endeavors to stretch out beyond him by moving over him and she figures out how to see the vast majority of Trudy's snares coming, however the young lady actually hits her with a couple of bowling balls. One of them carries out of the storage room and hits Gingerbread, making him fall ass first onto a lot of nails. He takes out a nail, just for another bowling ball to fall and stir things up around town into his skull, killing him. Candy Stick goes for Trudy until Saint Nick shows up and slams her cerebrums in prior to saving Trudy. Tightwad and Thorpe go under the house to find that Gertrude's vault has been discharged out. Infuriated, they go to stand up to Gertrude and hold Linda at gunpoint until somebody shouts out. This powers Jason to stand up and concede that he took the cash trying to snatch Linda and Trudy for a superior life and to reduce most, if not all, connection with the remainder of his loved ones. That is his message on the note to Gertrude, trusting she would see it the following morning prior to acknowledging what he did. At the point when the miscreants are summoned, partner in crime Krampus takes steps to kill Linda, Alva, or Bert. The three squabble about who ought to have chance, driving them to occupy Krampus so Alva can toss wine into the chimney behind him to stagger him. The three then, at that point, club Krampus until Alva sticks a fire poker in his neck. Saint Nick then takes Trudy back to Linda. Penny Pincher and Thorpe take Gertrude with them and start to make a getaway. More hooligans appear, yet the other lightstones retaliate. While Saint Nick pursues Penny Pincher, Jason and Linda ward off the leftover thugs in a nativity show. Subsequent to killing the last couple of thugs, Jason and Linda kiss energetically, which Trudy joyfully takes note. Saint Nick utilizes a snowmobile to pursue the lowlifes, killing the excess hooligans prior to thumping Thorpe off his snowmobile and afterward pursuing Miser. The two take part in a fierce battle, with Miser utilizing each weapon he needs to puncture Saint Nick. He then, at that point, finds the wicked rundown and sees his name on there, at last persuading him that this truly is Saint Nick Claus. Penny Pincher says that killing him will spell almost certain doom for Christmas, however since Miser presently accepts, this gives Saint Nick sufficient wizardry to go up a close-by smokestack, pulling Tightwad with him and making his body get squashed on the way up, shooting pieces of Tightwad out the top. Similarly as Saint Nick feels successful, Thorpe shoots him multiple times and gets ready to execute him until Gertrude, who snatched a close-by weapon, places one in Thorpe's mind. The other lightstones show up and attempt to help Saint Nick. Jason consumes a portion of the cash to keep him warm, regardless of all those fights. It seems like Saint Nick is passing on until Trudy tell, a lesson she actually trusts in him and consistently will. Linda then, at that point, says she accepts on the grounds that Saint Nick saved their family, and Jason follows. Bert, Gertrude, and Alva all hesitantly participate, permitting Saint Nick to be restored. Saint Nick thanks the Lightstones, who return the appreciation, and he finds the reindeer getting back with his sled, alongside the first skull crusher, with a note from Mrs. Claus. Saint Nick says goodbye to the Lightstones and takes off into the night to proceed with his Christmas obligations. During the credits, Bert makes a TikTok video over a dead Merc's body to tell his supporters that Saint Nick truly exists.